Hi, this is Jim Birch from Street Rods Parts and Memorabilia. Uh, we're going to be showing you a new independent rear suspension that we spent quite a bit of time uh, determining whether or not we could use this in our early Pro Street frames. Uh, first thing we did is we had to analyze the basic kit to determine whether or not we could adapt it to our frame. We're using a 1936 Dodge Pro Street frame. Uh, so this, this was considerably narrower than what the normal kits uh, would do. Now, what we've done is we've put this together. We did a video showing step by step the key spots in this. So what you're going to be seeing in the following is going to be uh, a picture of the initial kit we started with and then the step by step that we went through in uh, installing this into our frame. I hope you enjoy the video. Now we put our rear housing into place. We're setting our pullovers with the proper angle and tacking the cross member into place. Adjusted really the arm, leveled it up, checked it over here, level here, level on the frame and we went ahead and um, tacked this on. This being a custom installation requires that we design and fabricate uh, the parts as we go using the basic kit it comes with the uh, heights rear end. Now we're welding the top bar right. in completely before we put the punk in and the other heavier items into the uh, rear end of housing. Now we got it mocked up. We want to make sure it's not going to fall out or break on us while we're putting the heavy equipment back in. Next step is we just uh, put the uh, pumpkin in, um, put the rear front flange on, and we're going to uh, tighten these all down evenly, and then we'll uh, go to the next step. Okay. Next thing we're going to do is uh, snug these down. We get our air wrench, um, go around them, get them, get them all snug real nice, um, not over torque any of them, just enough to get them tight and seated then we'll get our torque wrench and we'll go around and uh, torque them in to place. Okay next step here we're um, got the front flange on we hook up our um, bars front now we're installing our adjustment rods that are going to go to the frame um, hooking it all in and um, getting ready to put the uh, cross member across to hook into these two pieces. Okay next step here we're getting ready to level the frame We've got the frame at zero, and now we're going to move it over, put it on our rear crossbar. We've got it set at uh, zero degrees two, so we've adjusted our links at 45 degrees coming up, and we've tacked it on both sides, and everything uh, square, we're ready to go. Okay, we're welding the uh, crossbar in for the two front adjustment tubes. Uh, once we get this welded, um, pretty much have the uh, system completely roughed in. Next step is we um, apply the weight lifting grease to the spline, and we're going to install this. This is the uh, axle plate with the bearing. We're going to install that in the side of the housing very carefully. We've already installed our seal inside. Once we put that in, now we're going to install the plates. These also work as retainers to hold the bearing uh, axle in. Plus, they're also used for hanging your disc brakes, at, uh, which we'll put on afterwards. We put the rotor on and we hooked up the uh, half shafts to it and Loctited everything in then the next thing to do was We took the shaft put the bolts into the back side hooked up the front pieces and Installed the lower arm bolts with the brackets on the front here, which will 
in turn hook onto the shaft that's going to come up and hook to the side to support the rear end as it's um, to keep it from going forward and backwards. Um, cover the splines with a little white lithium grease and um, we'll go to the other side now and uh, hook that up. Okay. We're hooking the half shaft into the outer bracket. Use a ratchet with an Allen red head comes in it's going to hold that pull that in and lock it together snug everything up first and now we got those done now we can go ahead and um, go ahead and start with the next up project uh, okay we just take then we installed the castle nut pull it in and then we'll put the carter key in and this will hold the whole piece together with the lock ring and um, we'll go ahead and do the same thing to the other side and we'll have this uh, half shaft uh, completed. Okay, we're getting ready to weld up the uh, bars from the side. We got the tabs down. We've extended this. Same thing on this side. We're in the tab. Comes back to the rear housing. We got adjustment on, leave a little bit, so we got adjustment on each end and pretty much uh, parallel with the ground and hooking in the rear end. This concludes our video. I hope you enjoyed it. This was the installation of a Heights Universal Independent Rear Suspension. Uh, we put this in a 36 Dodge car frame with a uh, Pro Street rear end, which is something that uh, has not been done before. We assume that a lot of people are interested in using these in uh, hot rods and uh, street rods. So. Um, Enjoy our video, and if you have any questions, we'd be more than happy to address them. Uh, you can get a hold of us on our website, uh, srpmstreetrods.com, or call us at our local number, 937-382-1871. Thank you very much, and we're going to have a few clips of the finished products uh, you can look at, and uh, if you enjoy this, uh, give us a call, and we'll get a hold of you and help you out as much as we can. Thank you.